Welcome back. Get ready for the 14th annual Artini. This unique fundraiser is for the Boja Arts Council just around the corner on June 8th. This year's event will take place at Sands Town Casino and Hotel in downtown Shreveport. You may remember that we revealed on our 4 p.m. show last month the theme for this year, which is Rhinestone Cowboy. And today we're revealing the Artini featured artist, which is Rachel McDonald. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. So this is a really big deal, right guys? Yes, yes, it is. It is. Every year we try to make sure to incorporate a local artist. They create the art that is associated with the event as well as some fabulous pieces that will be there during the event. Now, Rachel, this is a really big deal, right? Obviously, I mean, I, we all know it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, but how does it feel to be the spotlight artist for this event? I mean, it, it feels really good. Um, I've never done an event quite this size. Yeah, um, it's huge. Right, right. So I'm really excited um, not only to support the arts, but to kind of get out and network and meet new people. Um, so yeah. So tell us about your flyer right here. Um, so yeah, the theme is Rhinestone Cowboy. Um, I was inspired by kind of old Hollywood Western films. I kind of grew up in a house where we watched a lot of Clint Eastwood movies. There you go. Um, so. Yeah, kind of tied that in with graphic design and, and digital painting, so yeah. Wonderful, and so she joins a long list of other artists as well that you have happened with the Bossier Art Council. Um, with this specific event, why are you guys so excited for Rachel? We're excited for Rachel because um, Rachel is a regular artist with us. She's also a supportive board member, but um, we were excited because when I saw Rachel's work outside of our event, I was like, huh, I think this can work. So just like you want to be our friend for this, and she was she was ready to go with it. So I was super excited. Now, uh, what is you, what are you looking forward to the most out of this event? Honestly, the event itself I think is a lot of fun. Um, I went to Artini for the first time last year and really enjoyed the event. So what was your favorite part? My favorite part? Yeah. Gosh, I don't know. Um, hanging out with friends and other board the members. Atmosphere, and the, the atmosphere, the atmosphere. Yeah, music, people dancing. It's just a really good time. Yeah, it's a really good time. So for people who do not know what this event is all about, Brittany, why don't we talk about a little bit about what you guys are doing for Artini? Basically, Artini is our largest fundraiser for the Bojo Arts mm -hmm. Council. This is what supports us um, with programming, with staffing, with keeping our facility great, our East Bank Theater that people love to come and catch a oh, show yeah. at. This is what helps to keep um, to keep us going throughout the year. So when people support it, it's not just them having a great time for an evening. They are making an impact all year long. Yeah, and the artists here are up and coming, right? We have tons of talent that is here, you know, and I just realized how much it is growing in this specific areas so events like this really help you know foster that as well correct and we have some legends here as well um, last year we had Paige Powell who's a legend in our local art scene so we try to support everyone and we're always excited when we can say that hey we have chosen a local creative um, to partner with for our event Brittany what can we expect with this year's Artini is there anything different this year than past years Obviously, with a different theme, we're taking some creative liberties, all of which we're not going to tell because you need to get your tickets yeah, and be there do. that night. That's right. Okay. But I can tell you this, we are going to have 15 competitors. So there's Ooh. quite a range of cocktail tasting that's going to happen. We have some mocktail options that are going to take place. Perfect. So for those who do not drink, there's plenty of good time. You don't yes. have to, to drink to partake. And we cannot wait to announce the entertainment for this year. So that's coming soon. Really soon, right, Brittany? Really for, soon. Maybe for a 4 p.m. show audience, maybe we can reveal something like that? Oh, I think we can make it happen. Okay, all right, all right. Well, awesome. Okay, so if people want to get their hands on tickets because you guys are selling right now, where yes. do they need to go? They need to visit eventbrite.com and look for Artini 2024. So you guys are going to sell out. We are going to, last year we sold out with absolutely no room and we are excited to be able to do the same this year. Tell us again, Brittany, um, when the event is again. Saturday, June the 8th from 7 p.m. until 11 p.m. at Samstown Casino. It is coming up and tickets start at $85 to purchase those. Just go head on over to Eventbrite. Thank you, Brittany and Michelle for, Rachel, I'm sorry, Brittany and Rachel for being here today and for talking to us about the Artini and congratulations because it's a really big deal. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.